What's going on guys, it's Perry Protect 360. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a ramen noodle burrito. All right guys, so first and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, let's get to it. So, ramen noodle burrito. Now, some people, they're like, what is that? How you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you now. I'm gonna show you a way, I'm not gonna tell you how I know or how I learned it, but if you know, you know. So. Basically what you're going to need is a regular old pack of ramen noodles, nothing fancy. You either need newspaper or a towel, so it's got like little rags. And you're going to want like some warm water. And you, can warm, you can use regular water, but warm water works better. I just got some already made up in a, in a coffee pot, so and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your ramen noodles and you're going to break them up as usual. You're going to crunch them and you want to get them down to as uncrunchy as you can get them. Like, so basically, yeah, you're just going to take them and you're just going to just crunch them and get all the big chunks out and just get it all pretty much down kind of small. And then once you do that, where it's pretty much not powdery, but it's pretty thin. I already got this one open, so I'm going to show you. You can get it all pretty much, un you know, mostly broke down, and, you know, all the big stuff. Take the little season packet out. You'll do that. Take your little season packet out. And then what you're going to want to do if you can see in there how, how broke up it is so you want to make sure it's kind of broke up so you're going to want to take your little season packet open it up and you're going to dump it down in a little opening now the smaller the opening at the top the better but and then you kind of just with the seasons in it kind of shake it up a little bit now a lot of the seasons going to settle to the bottom now that comes into play here in a second you're just going to take it Laid out. <clears throat> Take it. And you want to try also when you're breaking it up, try not to poke any holes in the plastic while you're doing it because your water will leak out. And you're just going to put maybe about maybe a half cup of water in there. Just a little bit. And then you kind of mix it up. You kind of want to take it, kind of squeeze everything down toward the bottom. Everything's down here, but this is all empty. Squeeze all down at the bottom. Take it and you roll it up. You roll it like that. Okay. And then, <clears throat> then once you got it, you get it here and you can just put your towel on it. And you want to take it, put your towel, and you still want to try to keep this towel pretty tight around it as well. And you want to wrap it pretty tight. Keep it as tight as you can, but not tight enough to where it's going to bust the bag on the inside and you kind of want to when you go to put the water you kind of move it around so the seasoning don't all settle to one end because it will happen if you're not careful all the seasoning will settle to the bottom or the side or however it's set so you kind of move it around and then you basically just going to set it aside and let it sit for about five six minutes and then uh, we'll come back to it and I'll show you later all right so it's been about five six minutes or so Go ahead and open it up. Wrap it. That's all kind of stuck and it's good as what you want. Take it and open it all the way up. And you open it up just like that. And there you are. That is your ramen little burrito. Looks like a little, like, kind of like a bean burrito almost. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that's how you make a ramen noodle burrito this way. So, try it at home. Tell me how it works out. Got any questions, comments? Comment below. Don't argue, don't fight. Until next time, guys.